Welcome. Good morning. It is so exciting to be here. Everyone excited to be here? Yeah. All right. All right. So we are live webcasting this. So let's say hello to everyone on the live webcast as well. OK. <laughs> That's great. So I am Sue Hassmiller, and I am the National Academy of Medicine Senior Scholar in Residence and Advisor to the President on Nursing. You would think that I could have memorized that already, but I want to get it right, so I still read it. Um, so I want to uh, provide an enormous debt of gratitude to all of our speakers, but uh, especially, of course, Dean Azita Amami. Where are you, Dean Amami? Right here, for hosting us here at the University of Washington. Thank you, Azita. So approximately five years ago, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation decided to embark on a mission called Building a Culture of Health in America, and to ensure that everyone has a just and, and fair chance of being healthy and well. And with so many new partners at the table, the foundation has been working with partners uh, like the business community and police and fire and rescue and the faith community and the Heart Association, AARP, many different partners. So amongst all of those partners, we could not forget who? The nurses, right? We have to really make sure that nurses remain key and central in this mission uh, to ensure that everyone has a fair and just chance of being healthy and well. So to make that statement even stick a little bit more, we decided to sponsor, um, the foundation decided to sponsor, I'm here in my National Academy of Medicine role, the foundation decided to sponsor this report. So we are grateful to the, uh, to the foundation for that. The committee is here today to learn from experts and stakeholders. The content of today's panel is focused on technology to advance health and nurse well-being. So we are calling this high tech and high touch, right? <clears throat> so while there will be a brief time for the committee to ask questions of the speakers, we will not take any comments from the public until later. Uh, after the panels, we will have time to <clears throat> excuse me. We'll have time to hear from four organizations that we have especially invited, and then any attendees who wish to address the committee can do so. We'll have microphones in the aisles, and you can do so uh, for two minutes. Um, please know that I will cut off everybody. This is a very well timed, very well orchestrated. Um, uh, live webcast, and we want to respect everyone's time. So we're starting at 8.30 and ending at 12.30. So everybody's well orchestrated, and I'm an equal opportunity offender. So <laughs> anyways. Um, so now it is my very distinct honor and privilege to introduce one of our co-chairs, Dr. Mary Wakefield, who is a visiting distinguished professor at Georgetown University and the University of Texas at Austin. Please know that our other co-chair, Dr. David Williams, was unable to be with us today. So Mary, 